It's 9 12 this morning with cool fall temperatures expected to hit this weekend. It's time to take in the autumn breeze with the fall festival. Why not? The 24th annual Potter's Bridge Fall Festival in Noblesville features music, food, arts and crafts as we see here. And joining me this morning, our community engagement and communications manager for, for Hamilton County Parks and Rec is Carrie Melillo, as well as Aaron O'Rear, who is one of the artists and vendors owners for this weekend's festival. Good morning to the both of you. Appreciate good morning. coming good on. Morning. It's good to see you again. Yeah, it's been a couple too. of years. First of all, tell folks out there who are not familiar with this festival happening Saturday, what is it all about? Okay, so the Potter's Bridge Fall Festival is title sponsored this year by Hometown Window and Door Company, and it's on Saturday, October 7th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a free event for those two who want to attend, and it is at Potter's Bridge Park in Noblesville. So this year we'll have 130 arts and craft vendors, we'll have food, and um, beverage vendors will have live entertainment, which includes an acoustic band. We'll have a free kid zone that has inflatables, uh, free face painting, and a nature uh, education trailer. What are the hours for those who want to get in in their time schedule? Yeah, so it's 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, Aaron, I want to bring you in because you have some things that you uh, brought in. You are the owner of Wandering Peacock, which is a pottery studio. Tell me a little more about that and the items you have. Yeah, so I own a shop in Westfield, Indiana, and so we teach kids and adults how to throw on the pottery wheel. We do hand building classes. I brought a little bit of both. So these are my handmade items, some on the wheel and some down here um, in our hand, build, hand building classes. What is exciting about making these things because they're all unique pieces? Um, I love how I can just go with the flow on the wheel and I can just mentally step out, stress relieving benefits. Kids love it, parents love it. It's a good fun family time. And yeah. Carrie, these are not yeah. the only items that folks can see at the festival. You brought some other things too. To yes, talk about. so well, uh, Mashcraft Brewery or one of our vendors that'll be there selling beer um, throughout the entire day. And then we also have Junebug and Ivy. They are going to be selling handmade um, wearable jewelry. Okay. Erin, why did you take part in the event? Why did you want to do something like this? Um, it's a lovely historic covered bridge amongst the trees with artisans. Yeah. I love it. It's a wonderful time. And it's fall. And it's fall and it's going to be cozy. Bring out the kids. Yeah, well, yeah. we appreciate you coming on. And I know a lot of folks who will attend this event on Saturday will look for you there. So make sure you with, have that bright smile you have this morning. Oh, thank you. Erin <laughs> right. O'Rear and Carrie Manil Malillo, thank you both for coming on this morning. Really Thanks do so appreciate much. it. No problem. For more information on the Potter's Bridge Festival, head to our website, fox59.com. Jim? All right. Now